120 years of helping local kids who suffer from mental illness, the Crittenden Children's Center has developed over the years, providing mental health awareness and services to the community. Today, I'm joined with Wanda from the Children's Center. So first, tell me how this all got started. Crittenden in Kansas City started in 1896. Actually, our first location was in the city market area, oh. uh, Fifth and Main. And Charles Crittenden, our founder, whose picture you showed, uh, was a man from New York. He was a pharmacist. And unfortunately, he had a daughter die when she was four of scarlet fever. And he felt it was his mission in life um, to help young women. He saw in New York City so many women, homeless, um, drugs and alcohol. So as he traveled with his business, he opened up missions, rescue missions, as he called them at the time, in honor of his daughter, Florence. And the understanding we all have of mental illness over the last century has changed so dramatically. How important has it been to have a children's center for that? It is very important. In fact, Crittenton, we're very proud of the fact that we opened Kansas City's very first children's hospital. And that was in 1979. And um, there's been a focus on adults, but not on children. All right, and so you're having a gala in celebration of the anniversary? Absolutely. Tomorrow night at Union Station at, starts at 6 o'clock. We're excited to bring in Meryl Hemingway. Uh, she will be a speaker, and she's had some experience in her family with mental illness, and she'll be talking about overall health and wellness and staying healthy mentally as well. Is there a chance to still come tonight, or did you guys sell out? It's tomorrow night, it's tomorrow and night. Um, there is a chance to still come. They, right. sh they should give us a call. There you go. Thank you so much for coming by. Thank you very much. The Crittenden Center, Wanda, thanks.